damn, these guys are really... These guys aren't playing around. Oh, gosh! Bro! They were extremely stronger than me. This is them as kids. Holy crap, she asks could... if you're hurt. What happened? What is going on, guys? It's your friendly neighborhood Super Saiyan here, hanging out, doing stuff and things. We're playing some more Bio Mutant. This is episode three now. That's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, in the last episode we um, joined the Mirad tribe. We learned about this other world eater guy. Not excited about that. Um, we're about to pass by the village of where Muma and Poppy died. Which is um, pretty cool. So we join the war. We join this side. We're going to be fighting in this epic war. So, um, yeah. Oh, chest. Better grab that. Nice. I like it. So, um, yeah. Anyways, we're going to head out. If you guys like this video at any point in time, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the Super Saiyanly Amazing Action. That happens here on the channel. Up for grabs. Yep. We play all sorts of games. Just keep that in mind. And we also take uh, recommendations. If you have any games that you want to see me play, please leave them in the comments down below. And let's just enjoy this game. This game has been beautiful. I, I've loved everything about this so far. I just The comedy, the, the whole gameplay mechanics, the way it looks... Everything's been good. I've loved it. Oh, look at these weird fruit things. This guy's over here fishing. Is, is that a... Okay, no. Surprised you don't know Gizmo. Head down to the chug yard to find him. I, I'm well, on. Understands you have other places you need to go. Okay. All right, <clears throat> let's go ahead and head out to the next destination. Chest, hey. There's a bunch of loot and stuff all around. Hey, we got some pants. Thanks, mate. I appreciate it. Okay, nothing around here. All right, let's go ahead and run out here real quick. So we got a way down over here. Oh, this game is just so beautiful. I love, I love the, the design and the way it's just made. It's great. I love the fact that it's basically all open world too. You can just go wherever you want. It has a little story direction at the beginning, but I mean, I technically you could just take off. So it's pretty nice. Um, I f do believe there's going to be a lot more open world e feeling later in the game. What? No, let's not! What in the bunny roly poly are those? I'm, I'm not okay with whatever you are. I just hope you know that as I get ready to beat the crap out of your, you and your friends. I just pushed him off this bridge and he died. That's fantastic. I hope he didn't have any good loot on him because we just missed out on that by pushing him off the bridge. Okay. Seriously, what was that? <laughs> like, I, I don't know how to describe it. Were they bunnies? Like, I don't know what those things were. Really? Why? Better beware. That's a mump up ahead. 
They were hit hard by evolution, the wonky ones especially, deformed and unfurred. Blasting him. Alright, we got our first little big guy to fight. Oh, what the? Uh, nope. Pretty good. The circle tactics work in wonders. All right, I think we're gonna go in for some slices here very soon. Oh, I got stuck. What, what am I stuck on? Oh, that hurt us. There's a dead guy. There th of my own tribe there. I don't like I don't like the fact that that's my tribe. All right, we took him down. We reached level 3. I This guy straight up killed some of our tribe. Like, look at this. Oh, and some of the other tribe too. They're crushed underneath this rubble and crap. Ooh, hey car trunk I like how I'm still on it nice we got a hat that's pretty dope poor guy it looks like we have more of our own dead people than they do of theirs I'm kind of insulted by that I could be mistaken it just seems like it yeah there's significantly more of my men that is dead compared to theirs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now let's count theirs. Oh wait, there's twelve of our guys. He's just on one of them. Are there any more? Okay, they got a guy there. Okay, so there's twelve. There's one of theirs. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. I I don't think I've counted this one, so nine. So nine to twelve. We we lost more men than they did. I don't like that. <laughs> uh, that's disappointing. Time is lost on this place, but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it, drawing you closer. This must be the old village area from which um, we used to live in. I As would time assume. passes, memories fade, and sometimes feelings change. It's Ooh, not about colors. who you were, it's about who you've become. This story is far from over. Jeez. What did our character Echoes take drugs? Of a long lost past, like whispers in the wind. Here's someone <laughs> who takes each day as it comes. <laughs> oh my gosh, this game's amazing. He wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake practicing your swimming technique. Uh, I sure like to. <laughs> Learning to swim can be scary when you don't know what you're doing. But fortunately, he's here to give you a helping hand. He thinks you should really know how to swim by now. I'd be grateful. And he'll be honored. He's a giant beaver. Oh. 
Uh, hey, I'll teach you. <laughs> I mean, I mean that that's the best way to teach kids how to swim. <laughs> he says that wasn't too bad, was it? Like how my arms were just flailing. I need to keep at it. Way to go. Don't let the sound of the waves drown out your spirit. But you need practice. Lots of practice. <laughs> Judging by your Mooma's look, it seems you forgot something. You promised you'd train with her before the sun goes down. It's time to go. I lost track of time. You know you can't make up for lost time. You should know. Practice makes perfect. She'll see you at the village square. See you there soon. Can't see. She'll be waiting for you. There will be a surprise for you at the end, too. Ooh, surprise. I like surprises. Okay. Here's another familiar face with lots on his mind. It's Gizmo. They mentioned him back at the Myriads. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a thingamajig he's working on. He's happy to hear that from someone that's a part of the coming generation. You owe it to yourself to protect the environment. Exactly. You should look for things that are recyclable. It shouldn't take you too long to find some. I love the way Gizbo looks. That's perfect for the little gearhead guy that likes to take scrap and build things. That's the perfect look. That's exactly how he should look in this game. Gizmo is amazing. Also, the name Gizmo is perfect. Like, can we <laughs> just agree with that character design is exactly perfect? Name look everything is exactly how it should be like he wonders what usefulness you found overalls the hat with the weird goggles and it's all freaking nailed and welded on <laughs> it's nice it's perfect something old to make something new you're the expert i'm not sure let's go with that he says every little thing counts <laughs> He can work wonders with almost anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. I'm ready to get my hands dirty. The things you made are great. I doubt. That's the spirit. You can't make a difference unless you get your hands dirty. Exactly. He'd love to teach you to upcycle. And the scrap you found would be a good start. Okay. Whoops. What did I do? What, what happened? That. You did well, but he can't help but wonder why you decided to craft a weapon. He believes being considerate will help you feel at peace with yourself. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. It looks like she's starting to lose her patience. You know she doesn't like waiting for you. She wants to see you on the village square right away. Can't see. Then you've got a good excuse. You share a responsibility to prevent hardship on nature and the environment. It's your future. She wants you to grow up and start thinking for yourself. You really need to find yourself before she's gone. 
That's all she's ever asked of you. That you'll try and give it your best. You can't do more than that. You've always followed your own path, but this time she needs you to follow her. Okay, I'm coming. Jeez. Gizmo guy was standing there all. They look determined. Better watch out. They're bullies. He asks you to stop right there and wonders where you think you're going. I'm late for training. He says that it's not too late for you to turn back, though. There's no way they'll let you pass. He wants to know who you think you are. They look like... they look like her disciples. There's the myriad. That's the one tribe. Okay, and so this is a tribe that we haven't seen before yet. So that's the one with the black armor. That's the guy we're with. Oh, wow. So our... The guy we aligned with is a previous bully of ours. That's fantastic. No one needs to get hurt. Why are you pushing others down? You'll have to face pain at some point. He offers to help you get it over with. Man, these guys are really... These guys aren't playing around. Oh, gosh! Bro! They were extremely stronger than me. This is them as kids. Holy crap. She asks could... if you're hurt. What happened? We should invite them to train. They're envious because I have you. They're insecure. She's there for all disciples. That's her commitment as Sifu. And when she needs them, they're there for her and each other. The most important thing is that you're okay. It's time to focus on your training now. Yeah. I want you to go beat them up. <laughs> go discipline them, dang it. They're your freaking disciples. I'm your son. Why are you letting them freaking just beat on me? That that wasn't like that wasn't like training. Like I could take a whooping. Like I'm okay with like if I'm training, I could take a whooping. Someone close to heart, doing what he does best. Let's... He asks if you could help him too before you leave for training. It's oh my gosh, it's our pop popsy. I, <laughs> I love it. I love it. Mom's the whole fighter fighter and he's the sewing guy it's great i love it it's perfect all right if you, you tell muma family comes first he'll talk to her sure but you know she wants you to accept responsibility for your own actions and future he suggests you get going and find him gadgets and ideas for how you can upcycle some old fabrics Okay, so upcycle for fabrics. All right, let's grab some fabrics. I'm still mad we couldn't win that fight. I got ganged up by three of those guys, and they like I would hit the parry button, and they, nothing would happen to them. It's very disappointing. Okay. He's curious to see what you found. He's all for renewal and has even considered making the trip out into the wilds to look for a bio-nucleus pool and refresh his DNA. He says it's about time you learn how and offers to teach you, starting with the scrap you found. Interesting. Okay. Let's go here. Uh, 
that's like the front part. The style might be too edgy for his taste, but he looks sharp on you. You should take it with you, wear it to practice. He's looking forward to seeing what you'll make next. It seems you have a talent for this. We have a talent for a lot of things, except for fighting, apparently. Just the one thing our mom wants us to be good at, for some unknown reason. Why can't we just do what we want to do? Why do we have to be good at fighting? All we want to do is collect scrap, swim, and, and make clothes like Dad. I just want to be like Poppy. <coughs> Excuse me? It's a big guy. Nah, I'd rather do mixed martial arts. <laughs> Your Muma says it's about time you got here. Yeah, no kidding. late than never says being on time would be better yet she says she is eager to get started you don't have much time left before the sun goes down that and it, it hurt her fist. I'm looking at her looking at us like a mom. Wow, that was very familiar to like Kung Fu Panda with Tigress when she hits the thing. She's so proud of you. Except except uh she is very much more loving than Master Shifu was in that scene. <laughs> Thanks you for being such a good student. Been working on a present for you with the help of Gizmo and Wiz. Oh, you should go see him and find out what it is. You've deserved it. Awesome. Let's go see Gizmo. I'm gonna guess that's Wiz. Wiz is a big boy. It's our cricket buddy. It's running from us. What? Where you go? Am I supposed to press something? Catchy. Oh, it's... Your it's Muma says what? she's never seen an apparatus as green as this little thing. It's wonderful. A piece of Scraptronics like this has built-in old-world tech that makes it a potent communication device. It's called an automaton, and it's hardwired to your DNA. It'll follow wherever you go and see whatever you see. You're lucky to have such a fine helper with you. Your Muma says you look tired. No wonder. It's been a long day. She's so happy you made the most of it. Rest, and you'll find strength for tomorrow. Okay. Nothing could stop Luca Lupin from setting the world on fire. Quite literally, apparently. And I love how fast fire burns in this game. In the middle of a downpour! <laughs> what? Muma urges you to blaze a trail. That is the most unrealistic will fire to ever. Red fire. Uh, come back. That's just adding fuel to the flames. <laughs> I about got crushed by that, then just lit myself on fire. Give it uh, a last burst and you'll make it. 
something else is gonna fall. Muma says this is it. The time has come. She must fight Lupa Lupin. This time there's no escape. She can hear him coming. Whatever happens, you need to know she loves you. And everything she's done has been to protect you, your Popsy, and those she was chosen to lead. Here it comes. The past coming to haunt the present. I don't like I don't like that. Please go away. Attack the the woman person instead of me. He's breathing fire? Yeah, those kids ain't got nothing on me. I'm sitting here freaking attacking his ankles. You must go through fire and water to make it out of here. Oh no, he's got me. Your Numa says you can make it if you believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. Okay. You're in deep surf. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow. Um, excuse me? Wow. Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. The creature is hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. If a sacrifice is made for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. Wow. Mom and Popsy coming out as true heroes. Ugh. As the Look. moment fades and is lost, the only thing that remains is loneliness. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on. That was a weird acid trip. Let me tell you what. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's... That was sad. That was kind of sad. Bro, like, she didn't... That dude didn't even freaking beat her straight up in a good old-fashioned fist fight, as one would say. She... She got cheated. The dude grabbed me and chucked me into the water. And and then she had to go after me, which left her vulnerable. She's got to 
she's trying to paddle herself with a kid on her back, and he's sitting there freaking popping out of the water at her, and then knocked her out, and she just freaking drowned. That was not fair at all. And then my dummy head has to go and fall, break my freaking arm, so dad's like, throw me up on a ledge, I'll be safe up there. <laughs> And calls it good. And then tries to get to me in very much freaking like Lion King. This freaking guy just grabs him and is like, Long live the king, this crap. And freaking pulls him right off the cliff. And we watch him die too. And here we are. <laughs> oh, goodness. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed Biomutant episode 3. Oh, we did a little scratchy deal. Um, Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And make sure you subscribe. Um, if you want to see the next episode, if you want to stick with the series, then you should hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you get notified when I upload it. And also for any of my other videos and things. So make sure to do that. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Like always, Super Saiyan's out of here. I'd love to have you. Peace.